Six, five, four, three, two, one. to potentially close my number two location really does not sit well with me. But one of the things that I am a huge believer in is God. And in this season of my life, I have to be 1 million percent obedient. So now the new people that I'm having to talk to and get information from, them was the ones that wasn't doing anything either. So I'm talking to this man and he's telling him what all I need. And he's like, oh, I never read your emails with all your complaints. What? How did you not read the emails with my complaints if I'm telling you that we're having all these issues with the heat, with the air, with the roof, with people just walking up in the building? Yes, we have an alarm system. Yes, we have cameras. But what good does that do? I mean, we were basically just putting a band-aid over something we just could never fix. And it just got to that to this point for me where I just, I'm tired. I'm going to flip the room from what my brain was telling me to do at first. Okay. We're going to do this whole wall all the way down. And then do the start down here and go as far as you can on this wall. When we first decided that we were going to bring Dahan Vans Factory to Birmingham, of course, I was excited about it because we had a successful Bring It Live tour to come through the area. We had successful training camps come through the area with crazy fan base here. Love the kids. Everybody was super excited, right? So when we decided to come here, I solicited help from some people who will just remain nameless. We'll just say nameless right now to find us a good location. They said First Avenue North, X, Y, and Z. I don't know anything about this area. We walked in and looked around. It was terrible inside. There were walls. There was black mold. There was mildew. It was terrible. I found out that the, that the nameless crew that was helping with the building had people that were homeless in here, sleeping in here. They were painting in here. They had people who they promised positions on the team in here working. Once I found out about it, I confronted the people that opened, that did this, the nameless. I confronted them, talked to them about it, and it was all these excuses and all these different things, and I got rid of them immediately. So a lot of back and forth that went with, with that old Diana. We sacrificed, blah, 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 blah. No, what you did was you created liability issues. You created issues where I could have gotten sued. You created issues where I could have lost all of this and all the money that I put into this simply because you're thinking about how to cut corners. I didn't ask you to cut corners. So now I got issues with the air conditioning. I got issues with the heat. I got issues with the property. I got issues with property management. I'm complaining about everything and nothing is being fixed. And now I'm feeling like, damn, I done really messed up. I really made a really terrible decision. People that have been on drugs have just kind of barged into the building. We've had We've seen needles in the parking lot. We've seen um, fights happen out here. We've seen just, it's just been too much. It's just been too much. If we're gonna get down to the nitty gritty and just be truthful, it's just management. If you look around at the parking lot, there are no lines in this parking lot. There have never ever been lines in this parking lot. The parking lot has never had parking lot lines. They got the grass cut now. And the reason why they cut the grass now is simply because I complained about all the grass growing up looking like a bunch of weeds. It looked like an abandoned building. Might be about the 10th, 11th, 20th time we pay somebody to cut it ourselves. You can look at the bushes over here and you can see how the bushes is dead. You can see they dead. This was up here the last time I was here. And I was here three weeks ago because somebody was crawling on the top of the building. They was pulling whatever that we use for heat. They was pulling the, pulling the copper and stuff and, and the air conditioning and the heat wasn't working. People was messing with the stuff back here. People was sleeping back here. Also, I think it's gone now. We pulled the banner down, but one of the banners had a bullet hole in it. 
Somebody got the shooting out here. The shooting went through, um, the shooting went through the dollhouse glass. You know, you get tired, and I'm tired. Had, and again, it has nothing to do with my kids, and it got nothing to do with the parents. We're still the dollhouse, we're still, we still that, we still are who we are. Nothing has changed. We're just changing the location. So where we're going now is inside of the MLK Recreation Center. Why is this kind of like a deja vu moment for me? Because when I first started in Jackson, Mississippi, we were at Grove Park Community Center. We had a dance room inside of Grove Park. We practiced outside in the, at the pavilion in the back. We were pretty much everywhere at that particular community center. So what I did was I paid to have the floors fixed. We're having our, our mirrors moved from here over to the new space. We had the, the walls painted, the ceiling tiles fixed. I still need for it to feel like home because we're gonna be there for at least a year. And if the girls have to give up their house, they need to be able to go somewhere else to feel comfortable. And that still ain't even all the story. I'll get into the details one day, because I guarantee whoever seen this video, they're gonna feel some type of way. They're gonna feel some type of way. They really, really are, but the truth is the truth. Can't run from the truth. It is what it is. So in order for you guys to grow, we can't hold you back. You gotta be better. So speaking of back, I brought somebody back. There's somebody that I've been talking to for the longest. A lot of you guys don't understand what it's like to go through something. Ah!